We're going to change up the order real quick, uh, but I see people are still eating, and you should. Uh, so I'll say this. We all see what's happened uh, in France. We're seeing what's happened. What we're being told is really an attack on something, as a lot of you know, as a, me as a member of the press, and also uh, building this small little media company that is all about that First Amendment and about citizen journalism, and to realize that you do not need to carry a press pass to have the power of the First Amendment. The ability to speak your mind to be uninfluenced by pressure from those around you or above you, where you can say things that just might insult people, <coughs> and there's nothing they can do about it, except disagree and maybe push back with their words. The good news is, in this country, we can still do that, but we know that it's not that far away. We know that the oldest ally, love them or hate them, is and are the French. Heck, they allowed us to get our first debt. God bless them. I don't know about you, but when I see things happen that happened over the last week or two in other parts of the world, all that does is make me dig in my boots a little bit deeper into the hard ground of Texas soil. Whether we think so or not, we are going to be that chosen state that's going to have to stand up and lead the rest of this country <coughs> into really having that backbone of, you know, damn it, we're not going to take it anymore. Whether it's being overtaxed, whether it's, getting, whether it's uh, uh, health care issues, whether it's our, our power grid, whether it's, whether it's uh, our water rights, whether it's our constitutional rights, whether it's a lot of whether it's that could go on and on. And the great news is, here we are today in the freest state in this nation, in my opinion. But we are under attack. Battleground Texas is not going away. All they've done is done a shot across our bow. They believe like the Chinese believe. They, the Democrats, that have been taken over by the hostility of many other different uh, uh, factions in, in this country and world, they believe like the Chinese. They will lull us to sleep and they will boil us like a frog, starting with cool water. They'll wait for the most liberty-minded to pass away <coughs> and demasculinate our constitutional rights and take the next generation through education and indoctrinate their minds into a weaker version of what our founders intended. And it's up to me and each and one of you to investigate what your true rights are and to know them and to share them with everyone around, including your children and your grandchildren. You must do that. That should be our biggest priority. Otherwise, all this is for naught. And make no mistake, I don't care what your 401k is doing, because in the blink of an eye, the value of the dollar could be 50% less than what it is today in three years. Now, the good news is, again, that today you're going to hear from somebody that's going to help us understand more about what, you know, what our what we should be thinking about. And I'm proud every, every single month when I can come here and I can speak to you, and I see more and more people each time. Because this is what it's all about. Talking with each other, knowing our neighbors. I don't fear my neighbor that has an AR-15, because I know my neighbor that has an AR-15. Just for example. The Republican Party, and I'll say this in closing, the Republican Party, this is our test right now, between now and 2016. 
This is the test. What Boehner does all the way up top of the food chain in Washington, D.C., to what local Ted Cruz does, <coughs> what our local John Carter does, a friend of the club, what they do while we watch them is going to define this great country that we live in. I can say that about the leaders all throughout the land. So it's about us. We must stand up. These, these two years, we must pay attention. We must keep our eye on the ball. We must watch and learn. We must investigate what we see and see if it's factual or true. <coughs> so we can make intelligent decisions on who to vote for and what to believe in. Who to hold accountable. Who to give kudos to for helping us. And then get behind those people and help them help us more. That's the key. That's my calling for 2000. And 15. That's where I'm going. And uh, I, I'm excited to be lockstep with anybody else who's doing that. So I thank you so much.